Big and bold hot pockets. Are they good? Look, they're big, they're bold, and they got feelings, so let's try not to hurt them today, and hopefully these ones are good. But we starting off with the double pepperoni pizza, buffalo style chicken, chicken bacon ranch, and the steak and nacho. Let's review them. Dane, these things really are big. This is the big and bold compared to a regular one. So yeah, we're gonna start off with the steak nacho and a double pepperoni. Steak nacho going in, and man, this one is like greasy. Or should I say juicy? Like, look at that. This one is literally insane, okay? There is so much going on with it. It is a complete mess. It has like a spicy outside, some sort of spicy seasoning. And on the inside, you got steak, onions, green peppers, and cheddar cheese. And it is very cheesy. And since it's got that stuff, it's like an upgraded Philly cheesesteak hot pocket. It's better in every way. This one is wild. There's so much going on, but it is so good. Gonna say, best one yet. Nine out of 10. Now let's try the double pepperoni pizza. I'm gonna be honest, there's nothing really special about this one. It doesn't even feel like there's that much more pepperonis than the regular pepperoni pizza hot pocket. In fact, it feels kind of the same. I know it's bigger overall, but yeah, I mean, it doesn't feel like an upgrade at all. I'm gonna, I'm gonna be completely honest. Like it's good overall, but I mean, it just didn't, you know, it just kind of disappointed me. I expected more, so. 7.6. When I bit into that, I was expecting greatness. It just, yeah. Sit towards the bottom of the list where you belong, you disappointment. Let's finish up with the buffalo chicken and the chicken bacon ranch. Let's get this buffalo chicken. I love that buffalo sauce in there and it's pretty spicy, okay? That mixed with the molten chicken, this is a good one. It has a nice spicy coating on the shell. 8.6. Finally, the chicken bacon ranch. I usually love chicken bacon ranch, but I don't love this one at all. And maybe it's because the ranch is now hot alongside the rest of the stuff. But yeah, I mean, the chicken's good. The bacon is has kind of a funky taste to it. And the ranch, yeah, I just don't like hot ranch. I like it when it's cold. So it's just it's kind of weird. Okay, so I give it like a 5.5. In total, that was 10 Hot Pockets. And here are the standings, okay? Take a good look at this. You got all 10 across three different videos. Aren't you blessed, Ed? Yeah, the steak nacho is my personal favorite. That, that one killed it, okay? That one's amazing. So go get yourself a Hot Pocket. I'm gonna be honest, I think all of them are good in their own right, except for the chicken bacon ranch one, but <laughs> so yeah, go get yourself a Hot Pocket. I mean, they're a little bit pricey, but overall, I really like them. I mean, they're, they're good. Until the next series, I'll, I'll see you then. Goodbye.